guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all having a wonderful day and today we <laughs> i hope you're all having a great day today we are here to discuss junk mail envelopes we're here to talk about a couple of ways you can use them and an easy way to be able to decorate them so come with me and let's get started so one thing when you get junk mail envelopes one of the coolest things you can make with them is a traveler's notebook they are the perfect size for it and because they're envelopes if you get ones that the inside pattern on each of them let's see if i can get it to focus okay if you can get the inside patterns on a couple of your envelopes to match to match up they end up fitting perfectly one inside of the other and they make excellent covers for tra traveler's notebooks. So that's one secret. Make sure the inside patterns on your junk mail envelopes match and you will get a perfect fit and a perfect traveler's notebook cover then, okay? So that is one way we can use these envelopes. Another way is simply to take an envelope very carefully take it apart decorate it inside and out which you would do this for the cover as well as for what i'm about to talk about and you could use it to hold empty tags empty pockets some belly bands decorations some tuck spots and give it as a gift or as a storage for yourself so those are two great ways to use junk mail envelopes as covers for a traveler's notebook or as a gift envelope for somebody that's getting into junk journaling, art journaling, or whatever, or somebody that's already been in it for a while and just would love to get a nice little gift or as a holder for yourself. It doesn't matter. Okay, so I took... And these, the inside patterns on all three of the ones I've had in my hand match. So all I did with this envelope was I took my um, crafting knife and I just slowly ran it, found the open spot and slowly worked it up and down the side of the envelope until I had both sides apart. I didn't tear it too bad. It'll go back together, no problem, okay? And then what I did is I picked some pretty, I think it's real soft, like almost like Victorian summer themed scrapbook paper. And I laid it down. I put the envelope on top and I reached under with a pencil and kind of lifted up the envelope and kind of went around where the edge was and I made a trace like that. Just while it's laying down, I picked it up, stuck my pencil under there, traced around, did it from this end, traced around as good as I could get, and then cut it out and it ended up matching pretty good, okay? So I will tape this side down and then because I want to cover this side too, because this is going to be my gift envelope, I'm going to put some coffee stain paper on the inside part like that. I'm going to cover over the window, but I'm not going to tape where the window is because that's where I want to put tags, blank tags so they show, or in this case, because it's a gift envelope, I'll put my little, hey, this is a neat gift for you tag, okay? So let's get started. You can glue this or use tape, and I'm going to use tape because it's just easier. And I'm going to do the inside first because if I mess it up a little bit, I don't really care. I want to make sure the outside is super pretty. You can also do this for your um, cover of your traveler's notebook as well. You can do the inside scrapbook paper you can do the inside coffee stain paper whatever you want you know everything's been is made to be your own remember you're going to leave the top space of the see-through envelope open so i don't want to put any tape against it i'll put some right there 
and uh, this is just meant to be a fun project use up those junk mail envelopes because just throwing them in uh, recycling or trash or whatever you do with them seems like such a waste when they're an absolute great resource and it's hard to find envelopes unless you go to like estate sales or thrift shops and you just happen to find a box of envelopes that somebody's donated or like I said an estate sale that you know somebody's selling but they're great I love decorating envelopes I love decorating envelopes just to send mail because I think you know you send somebody mail and they get an envelope that's happy on the outside they're gonna be happy on anyway you know because outside already gets them in a good mood Sometimes we don't have time to do that, but I wish I would like to try, you know, to do it more for sure. Okay, so I've got that. I've got the top where my little envelope is. I didn't put any tape. If you were gluing, you wouldn't put any glue. Then I'm going to come back and just... And if you have to come back with more copy same paper, that's fine. That is okay. You're going to have some left over from this so you can always go back and lay another strip because if you're decorating the inside if it's going to hold your pockets and everything you might want to add some trim to it and just make it look really nice if it's inside of your journal traveler's notebook journal of course you'll want to make sure you add extra stuff to it as well so I'm going to come back at the top and just add a little bit extra but I'm going to bump it right up against the one that's there. And it's just going to be a line, which you can hide with ribbon or something like that. And then I'm going to come back and trim it. So I'm going to fold it so it has a nice crease in it. Okay. And there's our fold. Now I'm going to come with my outside paper and again I'm going to line up my window but this time I'm going to put tape over the window. So I'm just going to make sure my window is lined up. So as you can see there's my window and I'm lining it up. There. And what I'm going to do is I've got it lined up, so I'm going to put tape on half. You can put glue on half, and then on the other half, whatever works best for you. This method works best for me. I have my scissors holding it in place on the... Whoops. I say that, and then I move it. Look at that. Okay, there we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to put tape on the fold. I want the fold to stay intact because that's what we're using. But I will put tape all around the window because once I have it set, I don't want it to move. Yeah. So all I'm doing is putting tape around half of this because I don't want to do it all at one time. I might mess up the window and the window is very important just because it adds that hint of special. That's what I think those windows add, a hint of special. Okay, so we want to make sure we get one side down before we get the window down. I'm going to get the window lined back up before I... This is an easy way to do this. I laid it down. I got it all lined up on that side. Now I'm going to flip it over and put tape on this side. Like again, on this time I am going to put tape across the top of the um, envelope because the tag is going to go in front of the coffee stain paper, not in front of so it's going to go in from the back, not the front. Yeah, of course, gluing is probably better for this. I'm doing tape so you can see it 
finished without it moving or anything because glue takes a while to dry. And once I get it all on, I will pull the tape backing off. Okay, and then I will come in and flip it over so it's nice and attached on this side as well. There we go. Now I'm going to bring my scissors and just trim off the part I don't need. Okay. And the fold is still there. So I'm going to fold again. That's why I folded it from the underside first so I could see the fold. There's our window. I'm going to fold the top, which is where the flap was. Okay. And there we go. There's our envelope. I'll tape the sides back down. But when you open it, then you can put pockets inside. You can put belly bands, tuck spots, whatever. And you can give gifts of decorated tags, undecorated tags, or... You could do two like this, put them together, slide one flap inside the other, and remember this one will be decorated as well. Tape the flap to the back, remember it's all decorated, and then you have, and that will be like that, and then you will have two covers because they'll match when they're all decorated. So that's your traveler's notebook covers, or it's your gift folder for tags and pockets and whatever else at Special Ephemera. If you wanted to send Happy Mail, this would be a cute way to send it, really. Okay, and let me show you where we left our tag open at the front. Let me find. Okay, and then you can see here I've slid in a vintage matchbook cover, but a tag would go in just as well, and we did that from inside. We left it open so you could slide a tag in or tickets, stamps, whatever you want, a vintage um, matchbook cover in, and you have a great window there. Open it up. You have places to stick pockets for tags, tuck spots, ephemera, or you could just leave this as a cute little notebook and put it inside a journal as well in a tuck spot or pocket itself. You can also seal it back up and have it as a decorative envelope. So there's many great, great uses for these junk journal so there are many, many great uses for these junk mail envelopes. And we get them all the time. I hope you enjoyed this video and you got a couple of great ideas on what you can do with these junk mail envelopes. If you'd like to see another video with more ideas, please comment below. Also comment below and let me know how you use your junk mail envelopes. Take care, have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!